Tonight I am in Glasgow investigating homelessness. Since the pandemic, rates of homelessness decreased. However, in 2021, they began to rise again. In 2021, there were over 17,000 homeless applications, 14,000 accepted applications and 26,000 cases. These figures represent households, not individuals. Tonight I'm going to a soup kitchen run by Homeless Project Scotland to find out a little more about the work they do and how they help others. The Homeless Project was started by our co-founder Colin McInnes, sister Tina and another two. That was in roughly October 2019. They started just going around the streets with a couple of rucksacks full of tea and coffee, some hot soup and sandwiches. Unfortunately what happened in 2020 we had Covid. Once things started to open up again, this is when we had the big soup kitchen started. It seems the more food we have, the more demand there is. During the cold weather just now, every day we hand out soup and sandwiches and tea and coffee every night. On an average night, we'd maybe do about 65, 70 people. On a busy night, we can feed up to 200 people. It's all just about getting as much variety and choices for people. A nice summer thick soup, look yeah. at that, lots of goodness, lots of vegetables. We give people meals to take away to last them for a couple of days. Everything's mm -hmm. made fresh here. I was a dietitian and I worked for the NHS. So obviously I'm very aware of the need for good, you know, nourishment. We have to include fruits and vegetables. If we can give them a few days of good nourishing food, we've done some good there in helping people. Lots of like all the pot noodles. These are good for the hostels because in the hotel stores in the hotels, people don't have cooking facilities. So what we do is we make up kettle packs, which is basically pot noodles, cup of soups, tea, coffee, instant hot chocolate, biscuits, that sort of thing, just to keep you going when all you've got is a kettle. Homeless Project Scotland don't just provide food for the homeless. We make up toilet bags um, for males and females and we put the essentials in shampoo, shower gel, um, deodorants, things that we take for granted, a toothbrush and toothpaste. It's all about giving people dignity. If you have nowhere to go, Homeless Project Scotland will help you find accommodation. As a last resort, they also have sleeping bags and sleeping pods. With the rising cost of living expenses, many are struggling to put food on the table. But Homeless Project Scotland are here to help. I know we're called Homeless Project Scotland, but it really is anyone that's struggling, struggling financially, struggling, you know, with their mental health. We would never turn anyone away. We'll help anyone that's out there. You don't need to be homeless.